fellow rebels and welcome back to the channel and on today's video we're hunting road adventure points so i'm up here in dungarvan i seen a town hall and it's a place um where i get five points and it's an actually a theater as well but there's a bit of history to it but i'll show you the place first and then i'll run you through some of the history that i've uh, found online as well so let's have a look at the building first and i'll show you some of the plaques here as well before i get into some of the history of it well this is the history of it I suppose so Peter Crotty the Iron Man so a four times national boxing champion and he boxed here in 1951 so he's born in 1925 to 2003 that's pretty cool huh? and it's uh, the museum as well actually as well as well as um, as well as the theatre so that's very interesting um, there's a decent history to it as well and there's another one here I'll link you to this guy now in a minute but this councillor Michael Burns so there's a plaque for him and you can see there he was for the comfort of the inmates of the institutions under the control of the board he spent his public life fighting for the interest of his fellow workers so you know fair play to him uh, seems like a good man um, and then also I need to get a turret and look what's above a turret so that points there which is handy um, but yeah I'll run you through some of the history there it's a bit windy here today St Augustine's Church St Augustine's Church show you there so let's see so on February the 22nd 1871 the commissioners agreed to purchase an, an old store in St Augustine Street I this one here and then um where is it oh yeah so the old store for mrs maloney for the sum of 50 pounds um just a cheap deal that's a good deal uh to, towards today's money uh this building was to be converted into a town hall and public library which it's a museum now and a theater as well so it's the old um old town hall um william green blah blah and then so councillor michael Byrne, who we've seen his plaque over there um, he was a member of the Dungarvan District Council from 1908 to 1918 and a board of Gary Guardians from 1913 to 1917. And let me see. Yeah, he had been unhappy with the living conditions of the workhouse and its inmates, as I showed you over there on the um, stone monument or stone platform there. And make it a bit more interesting, you know, I love history myself. Hope you like it too. And yeah, we've got to get a picture of this and then we get the turret behind us up here, as you can see, up there. So we get a picture of that and then we have other points we're going to try find around Dungarvan town as well. Um, we have a round tower to find. I think there's, there's a Dungarvan castle down there, the ruins of that, so we should get a round one there. Um, vintage beer bar should be outside some of the pubs maybe uh, hotel Guinness sign unusual door hopefully I get that I can't see any around but hopefully I get that a lake I might have to go to the cameras for that um, seasonal flowers dry stone wall and 3d art I spot 3d art down on the pier um, so we'll have a look down there but first of all get a picture of these two and then we'll see where we go from there so a handy one so the Tudor house and the Guinness line up there. I've got a bit of time uh, today on a Sunday so nice and quiet to go around to get points and stuff so happy days.
are yet by Just the beer barrels, yeah Vintage beer barrels Cool Nice, nice point My bike is half cover on it this existed so in memory of war for men and women who died in World War II then in the lull of midnight gentle arms listed him slowly down the slopes of death these he should hear again the mad alarms of battle dying moans and painful breath geez that's a lot of names a lot of names ranging from Aglish Valley Duff Carrick Beg Lismore Tramore Waterford City, all of those 1914 to 1980 and never knew that existed here. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting the history. I don't know the history of this castle actually. Let's look it up. Okay, so so far we've got hope you can see it. So far we've got the town hall, round tower. Vintage beer barrel, hotel, Guinness sign, turret, seasonal flowers, and dry stone wall. So we only have 3D art to get, lake, unusual door, uh, railway bridge, and rapeseed field. So, yeah, going really well. I think the heavens are just about to open. So I'm going to head off and maybe stop somewhere for a cup of tea and go in out of the rain. It's just about to start now, so let's get on the bike. Okay, so the front of this castle, I'm going to go for an unusual door, but again, I'm not sure if it will be good enough. So I'm going to go for it anyway and see, uh, see what comes. There's no probably chance of that. <laughs> I've heard that nickname very well. unusual door that's not the usual door that you get around is it <laughs> some rain now so I'm gonna get the sun dyed here and then I'm gonna head down the road and maybe stop and leave me Brian for a cup of tea so that's the sun dial there as you can see in here made by John Borp from L so that's a, he's a sculptor so let's get a picture of that and head down Put on my wet gear jacket as well. That's why I carry a bag, have all these things in it. This is my gear now. <laughs> 